So I want to talk about a tweet recently put out by Timmy Loren, Tommy Loren, excuse me, who I believe Kyle Kalinske, maybe it's him, calls conservative Barbie. <laughs> And I'm going to steal that because I think that that is perfect. Maybe it's somebody else who calls her that. But either way, conservative Barbie put out a tweet about the left that is so insane that I felt compelled to talk about it because I honestly don't know if she believes her own bullshit at this point. It's that bizarre. And this really speaks to an issue that I'm having lately with regard to conservatism and conservatives more specifically saying them things that are so bizarre that I don't know if they're just dumb or if they're being intentionally disingenuous. So as you all know, there was the issue related to Ilhan Omar where we defended her. The left collectively came out and defended her because Donald Trump put out a tweet that endangered her life. It incited hatred against her. This is what she had to say about the left's defense of Ilhan Omar. The left stands up for Ilhan Omar and says we must be tolerant of Sharia law, <laughs> oppression, stoning of gays, yet mercilessly attacks Vice President Mike Pence for not believing in same-sex marriage. Explain your logic. Yeah, I'm going to need you to explain your logic there, Thomas, because that makes no sense. Why do you automatically assume that because we're defending Ilhan Omar that we support Sharia? Or not only that, she says that we're saying that we must tolerate Sharia. Who's saying that? Can you name a single example of someone on the left saying that we must tolerate Sharia? And furthermore, how is that applicable to someone like Ilhan Omar, who is progressive? She's pro-LGBTQ rights. So you're saying that because we're defending Ilhan Omar, that automatically means that we support Sharia? So that I think that that really speaks to how ignorant she is. Anyone who's Muslim, she is just assuming that they, by default, want to impose Sharia law on the United States. And she says that, meanwhile, while her own side, her own party, is trying to impose their own version of Sharia law, Christian Sharia. What did Donald Trump do? He gutted the Johnson Amendment, which is meant to protect that barrier that exists between church and state. But what he did is he gutted that amendment that prohibits churches from getting involved in politics. So they no longer have to worry about losing their tax exempt status if they become political. The left is against that. We're the ones who are more egalitarian. We are the ones who oppose theocracy. Meanwhile, it's your party who is advocating for religious statues such as the Ten Commandments to be placed on public property. You're the ones who are saying that we should bring back prayer in schools. And Trump is saying that we should allow religious individuals to teach Bible classes in public schools. You guys are the ones who are actively trying to impose your religious views on us, not just socially but politically, and yet you have the audacity to accuse the left of wanting to um, impose Sharia law? Are you fucking kidding me? How moronic do you have to be to believe something like this? Like, I, I'm honestly, I'm questioning if she genuinely believes that. I hope that she's just being disingenuous because if she's that ignorant, if she honestly believes that the left supports Sharia law, then it's bizarre. It's just, I, I don't know how she would come to that conclusion. What evidence allows you to deduce that the left supports Sharia law, Tommy? What evidence? I mean, and, and furthermore, to talk about Sharia law, Saudi Arabia, they are Wahhabist Sharia law theocracy, and yet the president who you support supports them. They just killed a journalist. They killed a Washington Post journalist, and the president who you support wouldn't even commit to stopping the weapons deal that we have with them. So if anybody supports theocracy, it's conservatives because they're trying to impose their own version, Sharia light, the Christian version, on Americans. And meanwhile, they're propping up theocratic regimes across the world. What are you talking about? This really just shows that the right has become extreme. Their rhetoric is off the spectrum. Because if you look to the UK, 
as crazy as conservatives are there, because conservatism is, I think, inherently problematic, but you don't hear Theresa May saying things that are this crazy. And it's not like Tommy Lahren doesn't represent the actual Republican Party, because you could see Louis Gohmert saying things just as equally insane. He said that Obama wanted to bring back the Ottoman Empire or something along those lines. I mean, the things that conservatives say, you would think that it would permanently discredit them and delegitimize them, but they're incredibly popular. If you look on YouTube, they are dominating YouTube currently, and they say things like this, but yet they're still dominant. It shows that people in America have no common sense. We no longer have common sense if that what Tommy Loren said is supposedly intellectual, as if she's making some type of astute observation. She's literally saying that because we're defending Ilhan Omar, that we support Sharia law, Sharia law that we're saying you must tolerate Sharia law. That's what she said. I mean, what? It's, it's so insane. Who believes this? Who believes this? No, actually, I don't support Sharia law. I don't support any religious law. I don't support any religions because I'm an atheist. But with that being said, I can acknowledge that as a member of a marginalized community, as someone who represents a religious minority in Congress, I am worried that misinformation and generalizations about Muslims will make their freedom to practice their religion be diminished. And I don't want someone like Ilhan Omar to be attacked because of what she believes. Because even if me and her have different views with regard to religion and spirituality, it doesn't matter. I still support her right to practice whatever religion she wants. And I support your right, Tommy, to practice whatever religion you want. You can believe whatever you want. If you want to believe in unicorns, if you want to believe in the flying spaghetti monster, if you want to worship the devil, I don't care. All that I'm saying is don't impose your religion on me if I choose not to practice any religion. But they take it a step further. They actually do want to impose their religion and yet they claim that because we're standing up for someone's religious freedom, someone who represents a minority, a religious minority, that, no, 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 we're wanting to impose religion on people. I mean, you've got to be delusional to think something like this. And again, I don't know. I don't know if she really believes this, but it's getting more difficult to distinguish between the conservatives who are just disingenuous or ones that are actually dumb and batshit fucking crazy like she is, and I, I don't know, there's been times where she has demonstrated that she has the capacity to be reasonable, at least to, um, you know, a small degree, but to say something like this, to believe that about your opponents, you have to be delusional, and really to vocalize it, to put that on Twitter, so the world can see it, you have to be crazy, there's no equivalence between Ilhan Omar and Mike Pence, they both have religious views that I disagree with, the difference is I support both of their abilities to practice their religion, however Ilhan Omar is not trying to impose her religion on anyone, whereas Mike Pence is, he literally signed a bill into law that allows people, business owners, to discriminate against members of the LGBTQ community, and he did this under the guise of religious freedom. But they claim that that's what the left is doing. No, that's called projection because that's what you want to do. So I had to talk about this tweet because, I mean, we're at a stage in American politics that it's borderline parody. We've reached idiocracy officially to see things like this. I have nothing else to say about this. It's just she's delusional. She genuinely believes that.